quick before the video starts i know it's annoying when people say turn on notifications but guys you're gonna have to turn on notifications if you want to watch my live streams guys i know not everyone who watches these videos watches my live streams but i've been getting so many questions sam why aren't you live streaming where's the live streams blah 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 blah, blah. youtube isn't showing my live streams it's not showing a number channels live streams just because it's pretty much just ai controlled right now with less employees working at, at youtube due to the current situation going on worldwide so guys if you want to know when i'm going live please turn on the notifications right now and enjoy the video hey what's going on guys sam here back again with another episode of top snipes of the week where you guys send your snipes from ps4 xbox pc switch you name it and we rank them in a top 10 list as always, guys, if you want to be in these episodes, make sure to tweet me at Six Man Sam and include hashtag Top Snipes of the Week if you can. Remember, it definitely makes things easier when I go to find your snipes. But yeah, if you want to be in these videos, make sure to tweet me. And with that being said, let's get right into it. Coming in at number 10 this week, guys, we have your boy Roy playing on PS4, and he got himself my favorite player. Larry Legend for 92k and I think he was like one of the first people I saw on 2k gamer to snipe this card so pretty early on this card was going for about almost 400 500k I think I estimated this card at about 375k which is about a 246k profit very very nice dear boy Roy and congrats on the Larry Bird snipe Up next, guys, we have Jay Season, who's playing on Xbox One, another guy from 2K Gamer, and he got himself Galaxy Opal Carmelo Anthony for 98.2K. Now, this Carmelo wasn't as much as the new Galaxy Opal Magic Johnson, but I still estimated this snipe at about 400K. I did see some Carmelos go for a lot more than that, but on average, at least when I checked this morning, he was going for about 400K, which is about a 262K profit. Very, very nice, Jay Season. Congrats on the Carmelo snipe. At number 8 this week, guys, we have Trololo playing on Xbox One, and I believe it's his first time being on Top Snipes of the Week, so welcome to Top Snipes of the Week. And he got himself a point guard glitch Giannis for 100k, and this card still has a lot of value. Even after the release of Magic Johnson and Ben Simmons, this card's still going for about 500k last I checked, so that's about a 350k profit. Big W there, Trololo. Congrats on the Giannis snipe. Up next, guys, we have no stranger to top times of the week. We have no code Jake, and he got himself a Galaxy Opal Magic Johnson with a diamond contract for 100k. I think this is the first Magic Johnson snipe I saw of the weekend, and I estimated this card at about 550k. I did see Magic go for 700k, and I did pay about 500, 550k MT myself for my Magic Johnson, so I estimated this card at about 550k, which is about a 400k profit. Very, very nice, Jake. Congrats on the Magic Johnson snipe. Coming in at number six this week, guys, we have some history being made here on Top Snipes of the Week. We have the Jewish man who's playing on Nintendo Switch. I think this is the first submitted Nintendo Switch snipe, and he got Galaxy Opal Trace McGrady for 100k. Now, on Xbox and PS4, T-Mac, you know, this is a snipe for sure, regardless of the console, but he goes for about 550, 600k. Well, on Switch, he sent me a screenshot here, or sent, uh, submitted a screenshot, and he sold this card for almost 1 million MT, about 952k. And that's a 757k profit. Very, very nice snipe, man. Congrats on making history and being the first Nintendo Switch snipe on Top Snipes of the Week. All right, guys, coming in at number five this week, we're at the point of no return already. Things are just gonna get crazy from this point on. And it's gonna start off here with Snipe Me Biju, and he got himself a Galaxy Opal Ben Simmons on PS4 for 20k. 20k. MT. That is absolutely insane. I got mine for 100k and I thought that was a good deal. But 20,000 MT for Ben Simmons. I estimated this card about 550k still. Maybe I should do that maybe a little bit lower, about 500k. But either way, this is about a 475k profit or just a big W if you kept the card. So congrats, Biju, on the snipe. Up next, number four, guys, we have Jesse and already. He's outdone Snipe Me Bijou at number four. And he got himself a Galaxy Opal Ben Simmons for 2K. Not 20,000, no, 2K. So again, I estimated this card about 550K. This is about a 493K profit. Very, very nice, Jesse. I don't I don't know what's going on, on on Xbox. I mean, I guess the last one was on PS4. But either way, people are going crazy putting these Simmons up for cheap. So I'm glad he got him, man. 
Up next, guys, we have Los One, who he was on top snipes the week last week. But this week, this is by far the best snipe I've ever seen by him. And he got himself a Galaxy Opal, Trace McGrady, for 2,000, pretty much 2,800 MT. 2,800 MT for not the Pink Diamond T-Mac, which that would have been a snipe too, but a Galaxy Opal T-Mac. This card goes for about 600K, which is about a 538K profit. Just absolutely insane. I don't know if he kept this card or sold this card, but either way, this is a fat W, man. Congrats on the snipe. Coming in second this week, guys, we have another Xbox user. We have JDog33, who's a crazy sniper himself. But this week, he's definitely outdone himself and got a Galaxy Opal Magic Johnson for 5,000 MT. And again, I've seen this card selling for 600, 700K. Some people are going crazy and they can't wait to get Magic. But on average, he goes for about 550, 600K. So I estimated this card about 550K, which is a 490K profit. Just absolutely insane. Definitely the best Magic Johnson snipe I've seen all weekend. And yeah, congrats, J Dog. And coming in at number one this week, guys, we have a brand new face top types of the week. His name is XX Neck XX, and he got himself a Kevin Durant for 500 MT. Again, I'm gonna say it: who puts these snipes up? I don't know who puts these snipes up, but he was in the right place at the right time and got himself Galaxy Apple KD for 500 MT. I don't know if he kept the card or sold the card. But either way, it's about a 450k profit. So congrats, B-Neck, on being on top of Snipes of the Week. And I guess welcome as well at the same time. Keep on sniping. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this week's episode of Top Snipes of the Week. If you enjoyed the video, please, please, please hit the like button. And if you're brand new and enjoyed the video, consider subscribing as well. We are on the road to 5,000 subs. Our goal is 5k by the end of NBA 2K20. And it's looking like we're going to hit that. But guys, I just want to add a little bit more information on the whole live streaming and turning on notifications uh, situation. Guys, basically, YouTube right now, they're pretty much running fully on their technology. What, what am I trying to say? Their technology or their AI system. Basically, there's less humans in the office monitoring and recommending and like putting things through. So basically, we're at the mercy of the algorithm right now and YouTube algorithm isn't showing my live streams in your guys' sub boxes. It's not putting in the recommendations and basically views have dropped the last week down about 400% and we've been getting probably a third of our normal viewers. So guys, if you want to continue supporting the channel and you enjoy the live streams, please turn on the notifications if you want to just simply know I'm going live because we've been going live every single day, guys. And I just, it's definitely tough knowing that there's people out there that want to watch my content and I can't do anything about it. It's just on YouTube's side. So again, turn on the notifications if you want to know I'm going live. I try my best to tweet out when I'm going live as well and post in the Discord. So if you don't want to turn on notifications, you can follow me on Twitter as well or join the Discord. Links are in the description. But guys, thank you as always for the support and we'll definitely get through this whole worldwide situation. I hope you guys are staying safe and this minor setback on the channel. But guys, until next time, peace out.